Hello, I'm Janelle Shala, and in this video I'm going back to a basic mineral that you probably all know, and that's smoky quartz. Smoky quartz obviously is a quartz. It has included aluminium, or the aluminum for you guys on the other side of the pond, that when it's exposed to low-level gamma radiation that occurs naturally in the Earth's crust as it's forming, it turns the aluminium opaque, so it absorbs light, and it ends up having this smoky quality. If it's really black, it's known as Morian, and sometimes it's called Cairngorm because uh, one of the original localities was the Cairngorm Mountains in Scotland. Um, it's also occasionally, I don't think people are doing this much anymore because of trading standards, but it used to be sold as smoky topaz to, when it was sold as jewelry to try to make it look a little bit more, or sound a little bit more kind of exotic, you know. So, smoky quartz, what does it do? And before I start talking about it, let me show you one. This is a... Um, this is a little double terminated crystal that comes from Morella in Australia. Very sweet little crystal. It looks to me like an elestial, but I'm told it probably isn't. We use smoky quartz for grounding and protection. It's very good to gently ground a person, especially if it's somebody who has difficulty kind of uh, climatizing to something that's more strong, more powerful, like, say, black tourmaline or something that's more confining, like a, a cube of pyrite, which can be very, very grounding, but it can make some people feel extremely uncomfortable. Smoky quartz is really gentle. It's got a really soothing, sweet, gentle energy. And it also will help drain off any kind of energy that you don't want, sort of um, negative stuff that you may be hanging on to. It just lets it drain off into the earth and lets it compost and become something fresher and more vibrant and more positive. This lovely double termin sorry, not double terminated, this lovely twin crystal comes from China. It's in a bed of orthoclase, and the crystals are almost perfect on this one. We also use it in healing as a form of pain relief, usually in tandem with two other crystals, which are um, carnelian and malachite. It becomes an anti-inflammatory and can be used for lower back pain, you know, lumbar region of the back, but it best if used in that kind of, um, in, in that grouping of crystals. That's the best way of using it. I have this lovely, gorgeous piece. This is, um, this is from Brazil, and it's, when I don't actually use this much in healing work, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a cathedral, which means it's one crystal with several faces on it, so it looks like multiple crystals. Very, very shiny. This quality is unusual. You don't often get them this quality. One of the other things we use it for, dissipating electromagnetic radiation. So you can place smoky quartz in front of a computer, in front of a TV monitor, something like that, and that will help you to um, protect yourself. It's not one of the first ones I go for for this purpose, but a lot of people use it like that. I'm going to share with you, this is one of my personal crystals here. This is a, um, this is, I don't even know where it's from. I just picked it up in a car, out of a cardboard box <clears throat> full of a lot of dusty crystals in, a, in the back of a, one of those old fashioned rock shops many years ago. I use it a lot in my healing work. It's particularly good for keeping clients grounded when they come in and they're really having trouble staying in their body. I tend to use it between the ankles pointing downwards. But um, I do know other people, other practitioners who use smoky quartz in the same way, but they'll use a point of this kind of size pointing downwards but underneath the treatment table. It's just another way of working. Smoky quartz has been used in, um, as an ornamental stone and carved at least since Roman times. And there are a lot of examples of carved smoky quartz from Rome. But there aren't any examples or any mention of smoky quartz being used in any of the ancient lapidaries for healing purposes. So how we use it now is more of a modern way of working. But smoky quartz is carved a lot these days. 
it's not very easy to get hold of and the pieces you get will be quite expensive. This is a lovely sphere of smoky quartz. Now one of the other things that smoky quartz does, and this is something I've only really become aware of recently, but it has a connection with the ancestors. So if you are trying to work with ancestral energy, it's a really good one to sit with in meditation. And finally, I want to show you this exquisite piece. This is a really large polished point, so this would be known as a prism. They're not that easy to get hold of any longer, but they are around. You still can get hold of pieces like this. It's the kind of piece you'd normally put on an altar. And one of the other things, this one kind of shows you another aspect or another quality of the mineralogy of smoky quartz, which is it's dichroic. It's dichroic in polarized light, and dichroism simply means it has more than one color. If you get polarized light going through it at different angles, you'll see that it will go darker and lighter. And this one has a particularly good example of that in the middle if you see it while it's on the screen. I really love it. I think smoky quartz is a must-have for your crystal medicine chest.